Here we go guys, so this is the front of the two, this is the Tesla Model 3, long range, 75 kilowatt versus the Tesla Model S, 75 kilowatt. That's what they compare on the front and on the side. So this is the side of the Tesla Model S. By the looks of it, the car itself is slightly longer and slightly wider, but it's interesting how the different inside and you'll see that when you get in the rear is slightly similar I'd say the Model 3 has got a more of a the roof is a little bit more taller in the back can you see where mine's quite sloped the Model S so the Model 3 has got I reckon a bigger opening but it's a little bit shallower that's quite big and then we'll run over here this is the Model S, so it's a little bit smaller, I'd say, but it's a lot deeper. Now, the noticeable difference between the two boots is obviously the Model 3 is a saloon and the Model S is a hatchback. Now, they have got a big, long boot, the Model 3, with under storage. But I think the Model S wins hands down for the boot. Huge, and then huge so yeah for the big boot off I think the um, Model S wins on that one right leg ram foot noticeable difference that you see in a sec is the screen's horizontal and there is nothing there which I think is quite mad uh, no shit bag handles which is unusual but in here, you've got door bins, you've got cup holders, storage, storage in there. Plenty of storage in this one, compared to mine, which I'll show you in a sec. But as of leg room, plenty. Don't forget as well, guys, I've mentioned before a million times, I'm six foot five. So, let's see if I can fit, fit behind me. Right, I'm in the back of the Model 3 still. Plenty of uh, leg room, charging ports. Charging ports on the ceiling, little co coat hanger, flat floor, door bin, which is a huge one. But yeah, plenty of um, plenty of legroom. But also to get out is a bit peculiar because you've got to press this button. So no physical handle, which can affect obviously can be a bit annoying for the taxi trade. Like that. And uh, I'm locked in, so I've got to get him to unlock it. <laughs> but yeah. Before I die of absolutely sweating my head off, because this is like a greenhouse, um the rear headroom. There's enough, I'm six or five, you know what I mean? So there's plenty in here. Um, Surprise me how much space is in the back of here since it's the smaller out of the two. Let me go and check out mine, Model S. Now in mine, got more leg room. This is the Model S. You got your whole like analog clocks and information, LED screen there, which is handy. You got a vertical screen instead of a horizontal one. Also, just the actual build and the finish of it, like all oh, this, like a a la car flipping super softness. Uh, I have got a glove box like the Model 3. There is no door cards, which drive me insane. There's no shit bag handles. And um, there's only storage here for the whole front of your car, which is a nightmare. And your cup holders are hit behind here. So when you when you want to get a drink, you lose your armrest. <laughs> and there's no storage underneath it. So the Model 3 by far wins on storage by country mile and um, but for space and for quality i definitely got to say the model um, model s wins for the interior now let's test out the rear leg room now for me there is less room in the back of a model s with my seat sat the way it is which is just mind blown i'm assuming that this has got less room in the back but it's got more boots and more space in the front so they've like compromised it because it's a different class of vehicle I don't know there's plenty of room behind the passenger so obviously I'm lanky uh, in the back there's a couple of charging ports uh, air vents but other than that there's nothing really lights no shit bag handle glass roof yeah similar the only difference as well mine opens that's um, some roof where it doesn't in the Model 3 but yeah and also because this is wider I'd say you could be able to fit three passengers in the back Compared to possibly two in a Model 3. Um, 
but there's still surprisingly a lot of room in that Model 3. Sorry for sweating, I'm jumping in and out of this car doing loads of little videos and each car is like a flipping greenhouse in this weather, it's like 20 degrees. So now I am in the back of the Model S and thanks, same thing for the Model 3, thank God for the cutaway thingy, but for me to get out my car, I've got to do that. So uh, yeah, the rear room in the Model S I think is worse than the Model 3, but the boot and the front space is better. The build quality is better in the Model S, but obviously it is probably nearly... That, that Model 3 next to me is the long range dual motor, and I think it was 60 grand with the spec. It's like the top spec one you can get. And that was um, 60, and now these are what I'm in at 85 new. So there's a lot of money involved, do you know what I mean? A lot of money involved. And this isn't the top spec, this isn't the um, top battery one either, this is like middle. If you want to compare middle to middle, then you're probably talking double. The Model S is probably close to double the price than the Model 3. Is it worth it? For me, yeah, because I'm lanky and I just don't think I could sit in that car because the driver's position is a lot a lot smaller, a lot tighter. But if you're under six foot, mate, the only reason you'd go for the Model S is because of Uber Exec. But there's no Uber Exec in Liverpool. So, yeah. But yeah, it's a nice place. Nice back here, but I am sweating, mate. This is physical work. Hey right, guys, just stood in the shade just to summarise because I am sweating. So, looking at the video, to be honest, the way they compare, it surprised me that, that there's not much difference between the two. Now, the Model S is slightly bigger, um, generally wider. Uh, I reckon it's better looking. Uh, it's built better. It's got a bit better spec, like the roof and everything. It just feels a lot more executive, like a chauffeur car. With the Model 3, it just ticks every box to be a taxi. Do you know what I mean? So putting like Uber Exec aside and stuff, because there's no Uber Exec in Liverpool anyway. But if you, how do you compare it? If you go for a mid-range Model 3 and a mid-range Model S, you're talking nearly half price. Would you, there's no competition, is there? Even though I love my Model S and I think it's amazing and it's perfect for me because I'm lanky and I'm wide and I'm stocky. Um, I think the Model 3 wins it. I do, especially pound for pound, like, you know, like, I've paid 40 grand extra for a little bit extra. Little dials behind me, my steering wheel. And a little bit extra space, I don't know. I've just spoke to the driver of the Model 3, and he said to me that he, in 4,000 Uber trips, he's never turned anyone away for luggage because of the fruit, the boot, the un underneath the boot. And then obviously you'll throw down on the passenger seat if needs be. But yeah, so realistically, yeah, I'd say Model 3 wins. But I love my Model S, so it wins for me. But yeah, generally, especially for day to day living, I mean, um, my dad was looking at getting a Tesla and I said to him, just get a Model 3. It's just not, in my opinion, you know, you need to have like, you need to have stupid money, don't you, to get a Model S. The only reason I've got it is for the content of the channel. And obviously I do a lot of chauffeur work and private airport work, do you know what I mean? It's the only reason why I got mine. But day to day, general, Model 3 wins hands down. Yeah, so listen, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little um, review. A nice one, so you know who he is. Uh, for letting me uh, record this card as well. So appreciate it. Catch you all later.